For 86 years, Boston Red Sox fans believe they never won a World Series because they traded Babe Ruth to the New York Yankees. And Chicago Cubs fans feel they are hexed because a fan and his goat were kicked out of the Wrigley Field in 1945. Reporter Brandon Trinidad and photographer Keegan Medrano tell you how superstitions are still a part of baseball today. For over 150 years, superstitions have played a large role in our nation's pastime. A lot, of, a lot of good superstitions in baseball, you know, from, you know, not washing stuff to, you know, hopping over the line and, you know, there's all cutting your hair a certain way and, I mean, complete routines, having your locker organized a certain way, there's all kinds of things. Over the years, players have drawn crosses in the dirt and paid fans to bring signs to the games. Outfielder Matt Carson eats the same meal. Superstitions, I uh, eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich before every game and I don't know if that's necessarily a superstition or just know that... Um, it's going to get me through the game without being hungry. You know, I just tried a lot of different things, and eventually that worked. I started to get some hits, so I was like, ah, i got to stick with it. Pitching coach Scott Emerson, who is entering his ninth season with the A's organization, has a one-sided opinion. Left side, my clothes on first, and I never throw on the line. Uh, I don't know, it's something I developed being left-handed. I figured I'll, I'll, I'll do things left on the left side first. Infielder Anthony Cardenas, who only made three errors all season, maintains the same routine before every game. My personal routine, you know, as far as defense goes, you know, take three ground balls right at me to my right, to my left, coming in, just so that I get in the rhythm for the game. Players will often tap home plate in the batter's box for luck, and they're concerned with their look from head to toe. I had one guy who was a little obsessive. Uh, he'd make sure his loops didn't get stuck, and if they did, he'd have to do it all over again. So that's probably the most drastic one. The players are so superstitious that they believe the difference between victory and defeat lies here in the dirt. The white line is I'm superstitious just to the white line. I don't want to trip over it. Here at Whitney High School, several varsity baseball players have their own rituals. Oh, well, before a game, when I'm running out onto the field, I don't like to step on the line because if I step on the line, I feel like I'm messing up the field before the game. Pitchers can be the most paranoid. If I'm pitching good and I haven't given up a hit during the game, I, uh, I just sort of stay away from everyone because if I, I talk to someone and if they say I gave up a hit, I feel like that's going to end up giving me a bad juju. All kinds of things, yeah. There's uh, a bunch of weird stuff in baseball. Baseball is one of those sports where superstitions are big. Reporting for WCTV 19, the photographer Keegan Madrano, I'm Brandon Trinidad. The River Cats have won nine division titles, four Pacific Coast League championships, and two AAA crowns over the past 11 years. The team's next home game is May 2nd when they take on the Salt Lake City Bees. It starts at 7.05 p.m.